guys, we are here in Houston again. I'm here for like the third time in the last few months. Uh, I'm currently looking for an apartment. I told you guys last video I was moving here, so been apartment shopping. Um, found a place, don't know if I'm gonna move just yet. Maybe within the next two or three months. But today we are here at Corrupted, about to get a workout in. I have deadlifts, bench, and maybe squats. I haven't squatted in like the last, I guess, since my meet. So, been just you know, doing bench and deadlift. So, going to take you through a short sumo tutorial. Just some little tips and tricks that I've changed along the way since my last video. So, you guys will enjoy that. But right now, I need to go change. I have gym shark on, but I have some more gym shark shorts. Gym shark stuff I need to change into. So, about to do that and put some weight on the bar, then show you guys a little tips and tricks. So, so I'm gonna take you through my warm up. Are right, you ready? I don't warm up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over my technique. Um, my technique isn't the best technique, but it's what I use and what I, I guess, develop over the years. Stance with. For me, I like to go edge of the shins on the ring. Um, well, Mel, if you zoom in. So if I put my shin perpendicular to the bar, you can see that the edge of my well, the end of my shin is right here on the ring. And that's whether with the stiff bar or with the deadlift bar. So, that is my stance width. Foot width and the way my footer angle is usually like a 45 degree angle. So if I was to draw a line straight from my toes all the way to like behind me, it would perform a right angle. So, I don't know. You can play around with that. You can go wider, you can go in. Uh, stance width, you can move out, you can move in. but. I always tell like, people what the, the main point is, what you want to achieve is having perpendicular shins. You can have perpendicular shins like super wide, but your hips might be too low. So you can have perpendicular shins with your feet in, but you might have to bend over more. So you want a happy medium somewhere in between that range where you can get the best of both worlds. So, and for me, the best of both worlds is what, roughly an inch or so by the range. So with grip guys, um, there's three grips that you can use in powerlifting, but one you'll never see. The two grips were that I suggest you use either mitts grip or hook grip. The other grip is double overhand grip, but you will not be as strong in a powerlifting meet, like trying to get the most out of well, most weight on the bar. Um, so either hook grip or mitts grip. Um, I prefer mitts grip. I mean, I prefer hook grip because you can get like more equally balanced with the bar, and like everything would be more in line. And over time, when I used to do mixed grip, I used to get helicoptered a lot. And that would throw off like my, my setup and make it hard for me to lock out weights. And also, I would have really bad low back pain for me turning with the weight in my hand. And that's like 800 pounds and me turning, and it's like, that's really bad. So, hook grip is the, the best grip. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on hook grip because there's so many tutorials out there. Um, you guys can go in, be one of those. Um, but my hook grip isn't the best. I'm still learning, so when I might get good at it, I'll give you guys a video. So right now, I'm gonna go over him just for the sake of what, it's only it's 265 on the bar. Um, most people don't know how to pull swag out of the bar. Um, I wish I, there was an easy way to like kind of explain it. It's more something you feel. Um, I tell people all the time when they ask me, like, how do you get so much speed off the ground? Um, the key is to treat it like a leg press. Anyone can go on that leg press over there and press like a thousand pounds but it's hard to kind of pull a thousand pounds off the ground. So trying to use different muscle groups, like so use more of your quads and your glutes, it's gonna help you pull more weight, and I guess press more weight. I believe, let me say this, every lift is a press. The squat is a press, the deadlift is a press, the bench is a press. So you're pressing yourself off the ground. You're not pulling yourself off the ground because you don't want to do that. Once you start pulling too much, you're taking your legs and everything out of the equation and that's not what you want to do. Your legs, your quads, everything below is your strongest body parts. Then your back is. So you want to have the best of both worlds and use all the muscle you can to lift the weight off the ground. So, cool. To initiate the pull, for me, I like to do a slight hip shoot. You'll see me when I hip shoot, I'll raise my hips up and I'll pull the weight like that. What I'm doing essentially is 
when I'm shooting my hips up, I am getting tension on the bar. So I am making my long, arms as long as possible, while also setting my hips at its highest position without being too high from where I'm over the bar or too low where it's gonna be like I'm pulling from, a, well, I'm pressing from a deficit. And that's not what you want. So, like I said, you want somewhere in between that range while I stayed it with your your um, your foot width and your, where you put the setup on the bar. So, this is my happy medium. And I wanna set my hips high. That way, it makes it easier to lock out. Hips high. Tension. And everything should kind of flow really easy. Um, when you get that slight pull, everything just comes easier. There's less of a second pull. Some people set their hips, then they have to pull the weight off the ground. And it's like, they really slow. And that's not what you want. You want to kind of use all the momentum you can to finish the lift. So, a lot of things like you want to try to be mindful of is timing of your lockout with the sumo. Um, that's a big thing because if you lock out your hips too fast, well, well, your I guess your knees too fast, you might be in a position where you're kind of pulling like here, and you'll end up doing like eventually a stiff leg sumo pull. That's, that's not what you want. Or you can, I guess, lock out your shoulders too fast, and you'll be in this position where you start fighting with the bar, and your knees become soft, and that's not what you want either. So you want to try to lock out your knees, your hips, and your shoulders all at the same time. It might not be on point, but as close as you can get to that timing, the faster you can lock out the way. So, I'm a, I guess I go slow. I'm not really a slow puller, so here you go. You wanna initiate the pull, lock out everything at the same time. If you ever look at the video in slow motion, your knees will lock out before your hips will and your shoulders, but as long as you can get that timing as close as you can, that's gonna be ideal. So, fast. So little tips and tricks I can think of, like um, your head position. I like to keep my head neutral throughout the whole lift. So if my upper body torso is looking down, I'm kind of looking forward and down. Um, it's not something that I do purposely, it's just something to kind of keep, keep everything in line. So if I know if I'm looking up, I know my torso is in a good position. If I'm looking down, I know I'm in a bad position. So it's kind of, it varies day to day. Um, it's not like something I try to do, it's just something I kind of be mindful of. And with your lats, I guess, a lot of people try to tighten their back, they be like this. That's not what you want. All you have to do is put your hands out, or you're doing a mitts grip, or you're doing a hook grip, pull your pinkies into your body. Just doing that little simple task right there, you can keep everything up here relaxed, but your pinkies turning into your body is gonna help lock your lats. That's a little simple trick, that's all you have to do. Same thing when you're benching, pull the bar apart. Even when you're squatting, pull the bar apart. It helps lock in your back and you don't have to overemphasize doing all that, like cut all that out. Too much, too much. Um, so that is all I have for you guys today. I'm about to run through my top set. I have a top set at a 8.5, I think. Um, I'm not sure, it's gonna work up to something heavy. Hopefully 900, maybe 880. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. So, we're gonna do a little edit. I have Romel behind the camera. I don't know what we're gonna say. Um, I guess this is my first edit on my channel other than my last video. So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, have fun. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know so and so, they like my family, so they gon' send it, they cool till they bust it, don't motherfucking test. I'm getting good at my flow, but like you brought up my head, don't I saw you bitch like I'm Ducky Kong. You know that pussy like Ducky Kong. I saw your bitch like I'm Ducky Kong. Okay. Just finish up with deadlifts. Um, I have bench and some accessories left, but hopefully you guys learned something today. Um, take something from the video. If you do, let me know if you wanted to see something else. 
I can go in more detail about that later on. Uh, but for right now, that's all I can really, I guess, generalize for you guys. Um, that was my technique. Um, you see me work out with my technique to a 903 pull, which is 410 kg. Uh, it moved pretty good, um, surprisingly. I thought I was gonna shit myself, but luckily I didn't. But uh, then we backed off with 715 pounds for a four x four. I didn't do all the sets, but don't tell my coach. Uh, but now we have bench and accessories, and that'll be it for this video. So I see you guys. I don't know when I see you guys. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gonna call and collect.